Hey, hello everyone. Paint with Rick. How's it going? Today we're going to do a cool painting. I'm going to do a, a foreground that's kind of close here with some big trees here and a mountain back here in the distance. But I'll, I'll lay it out real quick. I'm going to be using uh, the bristle brushes. And uh, I do have some Bob Ross brushes that I use, use occasionally. If you got Bob Ross brushes, you can use these. I just like using these because I can get them really cheap. And uh, they're bristle brushes. They're pretty much the same as uh, the Bob Ross brushes. And if I don't take care of them, I can just throw them away because I get them for 50 cents a piece. So, And then you'll need some oil uh, fan brushes for oil paint. This is oil painting and a, a knife. That's what I use. I'll dip my brushes in linseed oil and then into my paint and then we're off to the races. This is a dry canvas. I don't put anything down underneath. In a few videos coming up I'll get into a color mixing. You can see here I took sap green. I put black in it to make dark trees. If you put white in it, you get this color. If you put blue in it, you get this. There's a, there's a lot to color mixing. That's why I never get into it. I pretty much use the color out of the tube, but let's get started. I'm gonna lay out the uh, scene real quick and I'm probably gonna, probably gonna do everything. We wanna cut this, I'm gonna cut the scene right in half and then put the mountain back in here like it's going to be way in the distance there and then uh, I'm going to cut the foreground right here at the bottom of where the mountain is and come straight across and down to here and we're going to have a huge tree here and here and maybe some trees down in here on this land here. Well, let's start with the sky. Now that we know where our mountain's going to be, we can actually uh, put some color up here now. I'm going to have a bluish gray sky. I mixed uh, some ultramarine blue and uh, some white to lighten it up. So what I do, I just get the brush a little wet with linseed oil, just like that. This way you don't have to uh, put anything down up here. Then I, I just tap it into the color like that. Okay, and we're off to the races. All right. So when I say uh, dip your brush in linseed oil, dip it in there and then grab some paint. And look how easy that flows on the canvas, okay? Oops, sorry. <laughs> it just, it, if you don't put the linseed oil on, the paint's not going to move on your canvas, so... This paint, this canvas has color on it because it was a painting I did and I wiped it off. I didn't like it, so, but it, it's dry now, so. All right, so let's, uh, I'm just going to put a little gray up here and I'll show you a trick. I don't have any gray out, so let me grab a little uh, Payne's gray. I'll just grab Payne's gray and then I'll mix it with some white. This is how I do it to uh, lighten it up a bit. Let me grab some of that real quick. And uh, I like to put gray in the sky because the clouds look uh, really cool on a uh, gray sky. So I dip the same brush that I was using. I didn't even wipe it off and just grab some gray here. Gray and blue kind of go good together. Now what I'm going to do is with the same brush, just wipe it off, get some titanium white, dip into my linseed oil and get some titanium white, just a little. And I want to come in here on the edges where I didn't put any blue or gray. Just put some titanium white around the edge here. 
just a little. These are going to end up being indicate. These are going to be clouds by the time we're done. Let's put a little here. It's titanium white. This is really easy. I'm showing you techniques. Anybody could do this, even if you've never painted before, with these chip brushes. These brushes, they're nothing special, so. Titanium white. I'm picking up a little bit of that blue, you see that? And I'm kind of bringing it down into the lower section here. Just like that. Very good. Let's get some more titanium white. We'll make all this clouds down here at the bottom, our horizon. Well, we're going to have trees here, but over here, titanium white all the way down to your mountain. I usually try and lay an outline of my mountain in so I know where it's going to be. So I know where, how far to bring my clouds down like that. And then I'm going to put a little color under our mountain so we have something to lay our black on. Just a little white down here. There you go. So we got our sky done. Now what I'm going to do is just the same brush since it was brand new when I started. I'm just wiping it off. I'm going to come in here and blend my blue real quick and the gray together. Do those two colors first and then wipe your brush again. Blend the bottom of this blue and the white together right at the edge over here. Wipe your brush. <clears throat> now <clears throat> wipe your brush again and let's uh, come up here and lightly blend all your clouds. Just soften them up a bit. If you can hear it, I'm just barely touching it. It lightens them up. If you want to pull some of this color into your blue, you can like this. See? All depends what you want to do. You can pull some of this white into it. Just like that. Just work it. That's what's cool about oil painting. It, it stays wet for a while and you can if you make a mistake, you can wipe it off. But I kind of like that sky. What I'm going to do first is lay in my mountain, then we'll put some clouds up there. So how I do in my mountains, I just get a little black on my knife. And uh, let's design the, the top of our mountain here. Just roughly put a mountain top the tops of mountain peaks in there and then we're gonna grab your brush the same brush we might do the whole painting with this brush by just wiping it off you don't ever have to clean it you just need to wipe it off let's pull this color down now and shape our mountain just grab the black and pull it down into this color very lightly so we get a different value a different tone down here Let's just shape our mountain with this brush. That's all you're doing. Now we're going to put some snow up there here in a second. Pull this color down. Very easy. Wipe your brush off. Come up here at the top. Make sure you get the, your brush on all the black at least and drag it down a little bit, okay? Because it makes the snow on the knife come off easier if you knock this paint down a little bit, okay? Pull it down just like that. Very good. I like that. Now with your brush, wipe it off and come up here and just blend your mountain out. Very lightly. Very cool. Let's do some clouds now. I think you'll like the way I do my clouds. They're uh, very easy. Let me find a clean... Well, I don't even have a clean brush, but you, I just wipe my brushes off. I'm going to use titanium white and run some clouds in here. So I dip my brush into the linseed oil 
and I tap into my uh, white, titanium white. Let's design some clouds here. Uh, let's run some clouds over this gray and I'll show you how it blends in, in with the gray. So I'm just gonna do the top of a cloud here. This just indicates the top of a cloud, okay? Let's do another one. Let's do a cloud coming from our mountain top, kind of up into the blue section here a little bit. Okay, just like that. Get some more white. Let's run some uh, clouds across the middle and down into this one. That's enough for now. So now wipe your brush off, come up in here and pull from the middle of this cloud, pull it down a little bit. Let it mix with that color in the sky. Just pull it down, shape your cloud. This is what we're doing, shaping it. And then we're gonna blend it and soften them up and they'll turn into a nice, cool looking clouds. Don't hit the tops of your clouds. I'll show you what we'll do with the tops here in a second. So let's pull this down into the gray. We got gray up here. Let it, the gray and the white will mix here. And uh, it should make us a gray and a white cloud here is what's gonna happen, I'm hoping. All right, now we're gonna blend this. I'm gonna use a, a brand new inch and a half a chip brush, it's a bristle brush, they're really soft, okay? And we're gonna blend just the part where I just pulled down, really easy. Just come in here and lightly blend it. What it's doing, it's taking out your brush strokes that you put in and it's softening it up to turn it into a cloud. Don't hit the tops, just the part where you pull down. This one, you might have to pull it a little and just get in here very delicately and get a brush on it and blend it it softens it up wow look at that i'll fix the tops here in a second i'll show you how to do that but it's looking really good all right let's do this one here i'm hoping this one turns into a gray cloud Let's slightly blend the part we pulled down. Don't hit the top. We want to leave that white up there. All right, I kind of like that. Worked out pretty good. All right, now take your uh, wipe your brush off and on the top part of your cloud, come in here and barely push on it. Now wipe your brush off. Push the top. Stamp it. That's what they call this. Just stamp stamp the edge of your cloud very lightly because you want it to stay white. If you stamp it too hard, it'll, it'll uh, take the value of the white away. Up here, very lightly, just stamp the top of your edge. And there you go. Look at that. Wow, that's a, that's a pretty wicked <laughs> sky. Now, if this here looks a little uh, blue in here, you can, you can blend the cloud to uh, fix that spot in if you want. Just work your cloud, but try not to hit the tops, okay? I kind of like that. We're going to have trees here anyway, so don't worry about working your uh, clouds too much until you get your trees done. All right, very good, I like that. All right, now what we're gonna do, I'm gonna lay, no, we're gonna put snow on our mountain. So with uh, a knife, I don't know if I should do it with the knife or the brush, It's because you could do it either way. Uh, a knife is harder to do it with a brush would be easier, but I'll show you how to do it with uh, 
the knife because I have a video, a few videos back where I put it on with a, a brush. So. so come up here on the right side of your peak and just pull some white down just a little. Then you got to get a new roll on. Each time you come back up here, you got to get a new roll of white on. Stay to the right of your peak and pull it straight down. And then once you get halfway down, you can start turning like that, okay? Gets another roll. You just put a little roll on your knife. Let's put a little snow underneath this one here. A little more. Let's get some more paint. Let's do this peak up here. Just like that. All right, now that blue that you used up there, grab a little bit of that blue and put a little white in it. Mix it with some white. And we're gonna use this as our uh, shadow color. So everywhere you have white, just next to it, we're gonna put this blue the same way, just pull it to the left. Pull it to the left. Everywhere you have white. See that? I left it a little dark so you can see it. I'm gonna leave that black there because that's the shadow from this mountain is hitting right here, so. Let's pull some more here. Get some more blue. more blue mountains are fun you just uh, mountains you gotta practice them but I think one if you lay it out just the way I did and if you follow the angles I just pulled these uh, I think your mountain will come out perfect what happens a lot of times when people first start out they'll want to follow the 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 edge of the mountain and pull their snow exactly like here and here but I don't know try and uh, follow what I just did if you do this painting it'll look good All right now I don't have any uh, paper towels left I'm gonna have to uh, steal an old one in here all right so let's with your blender brush, we're gonna pull the bottom of our mountain now, just a little bit at the bottom where the paint is. Just pull it down a little bit at the bottom, and then we're gonna blend it. Just blend the bottom of your mountain. All right, that looks good. I like it. Let's run some uh, with your brush. I'm going to use some yellow ochre. Just tap your brush into some yellow ochre. I'm going to run some yellow ochre down here at the bottom of the mountain. Just scratch it in there like this. We're going to run some trees off this color just to get some different color down here. Now wipe your brush off and where those two colors come together, let's lightly blend that, those two colors where it comes together. Just blend it in. Just like that. 
All right, now it's time to get the sap green and black mixture. Just linseed oil and push into your uh, paint. And what you're gonna do up is come in here and stamp some bushes. Stamp the bushes in. Just worry about the top part of the bushes for now. Get some more paint. This is sap, this is sap green and a little bit of black mixture. I want it to be dark. These are gonna be bushes. Very good. We're gonna highlight these bushes with some cool colors uh, and they'll look really nice. Let's take a little more sap green and black and bring this down just a little bit. Just stamp it in there. This is uh, creating texture, okay? I think what we'll, we'll probably leave this like ground here and we'll end up uh, maybe pulling a trail down in here. Well, let's run our trees now. This is the fun part. This is where you get to use your fan brush. I should have did the painting the other way because I it's easier for me to do the trees on this side, but that's all right. I might have to get in front of the camera. Let me see if I can get another paper towel here. But it's looking good. I like it. We're going to take our trees all the way to the top. We're going to have one right here all the way to the top and one right next to it all the way to the top. So with your fan brush, dip it into your linseed oil and fill it up with sap green and black. It's the same color here. And now we're going to highlight our tree. So, all right, we're going to run our trunk down first. So how I do that, I just push in, I push in the trunk like this, drag it down. And now we're going to design our branches. This is where uh, you can take your time on this. Just load your brush up and use the corner of your brush start at the top and stamp in a few branches stay small up here see just take your time turn your brush the other way and just come up here and take your time and put the branches on nice and easy just make them go straight out okay and as we come down, we're going to get wider and wider. But don't rush. Don't come down really fast. Really think about where you're putting these branches, okay? Get more paint if you need it. Get wider down here at the bottom. These branches down here are going to start turning upwards at the bottom, so... There we go. And then kind of look at it. Stand back and look at it and see what it needs. And just fill the color in, okay? Let's see if I like that one. Yeah, I like it. All right, let's do one right next to it. We're going to have one right next to it a little shorter, okay? They're going to mingle together here, so let's do it the same way, just with the corner of your brush. Put small branches up top. Turn your to the other side. Just take your time and design your tree as you come down. If you want to stop here and leave a, a trunk here, you can do that, okay, just like that. I kind of like that. Looks good. I'm going to leave that like that, okay? Now get your, uh, get a small fan brush, a number two, 
what we're going to do is uh, with uh, we're going to put a few little trees out in the distance here. Okay, just punch in uh, a trunk just like this and then just put like an indication that it's a tree back there, okay? Same thing, we're gonna do one on the other side. Put a tree here. Get wider at the bottom. Just like that. We can put a really small one here. There you go. Now if you want, we could put an indication of trees way in the back. But I don't want to do that. I want to leave that yellow ochre the way it is. I like the way it looks right now. That's enough uh, trees. So let's grab your uh, your brush that you did all these bushes with, and let's come in here and hit the tops and make them look like uh, bush tops. Now, okay. Now with your brush. What we're going to do is pull some of this color uh, horizontal to the left, okay? Just pull some of this color out from underneath the bushes. We'll go this way on this way side and pull it to the uh, left on this side. Just pull some of that color out. And we're going to wash the top of the with that color just like that okay it looks like groundwork going on in there you could pull out some more here to make it look like there's a hill here and here pull this one out more create some hills in here see that all right, I kind of like that. Let's highlight our trees. We, I highlight my trees with titanium white. What I do is I just wipe the same brush off. Just wipe it off. Don't clean it with the uh, turpentine. Just wipe it off. Dip it into your linseed oil. And then get some titanium white on it. And just get it wet, wet with the titanium white. Let's come down and we'll do the right side of the tree first. And try and just highlight the, uh, the if you can, just the top part of the branches with this, okay? Just come down and pick out the top of your branches and push the white into the green. What it does, it makes a light, a lighter green, okay? Just just on the tops. Let's do this tree. When we get done with the right side, then we'll look at the left side and see if we need any. Just like that. Make sure you push it in there so it mixes with the green, okay? Let's highlight a few over here on the left side. Very good. You see how that brought the branches out? We're going to do that with the bushes. Let's do it with these trees way in the back. Uh, get a little more linseed oil and titanium white and just come down one side of those trees with titanium white just to get some color on it. Just on the right side. It'll give that tree dimension, okay? All right, let's do our bushes. Let's run a little white underneath 
your bushes here. Pull it, pull it uh, horizontal, okay? Just underneath the edge of the bush. And then we'll blend that in a little better here in a second. All right, let's uh, highlight our bushes. We're gonna use a, uh, I'm gonna use a one inch uh, chip brush, the one I used to make the clouds. I'm gonna get some uh, orange ochre, tap into some orange ochre to highlight these bushes down here. If you don't have orange ochre, you can use Venetian red or uh, put a little red in some yellow ochre. Let's pick out some bushes here and uh, let's start up high. So all you gotta do is pick out your bushes and stamp this color into it, okay? Let's do uh, some over here. Just stamp the color into the bushes, just on the top part, okay? We'll do some in uh, orange ochre and we'll do some in yellow ochre. Let's get uh, with the same brush, you don't even have to wipe it. Get some yellow ochre now and let's uh, highlight some in yellow ochre. Just the top parts of the bush. Get more yellow ochre for down here. We got a bush in front of that one. Very good, I like that. It's very, it makes, add some color to the painting. So I'm gonna come in here and kind of push the edges in a little more. Get it to mix with the green underneath. It looks good. Let's uh, highlight a little bit of our bushes now. I'm gonna put uh, the same brush. I'm just gonna wipe it off and get a little titanium white the same way we did these trees. And get some titanium white, just a little. And our light's coming from the right side. So we wanna just uh, hit a little bit of light on some of these bushes okay you don't have to do them all just just a little here and there just where you think the light's hitting put some titanium white mix it in there we're not going this isn't a detailed painting this is there that looks good I really like that. All right, guys, that's probably going to do it for this one. Uh, you can, if you got a liner brush, just dip it into some linseed oil, and you should be able to pick up some of the color on your bushes, and you can pull some twigs up here and there. Okay, just pick up the color that's already on the canvas. Pull a few twigs, okay, around your trees, just a few. And now I'm gonna put some uh, birds up there. Gotta have some kind of creature in here to enjoy this. Whoops. I kind of messed that bird up. There we go. If you mess up your uh, a bird, just take a bristle brush and rub them out, just like that. Right. Then uh, try it again. These I'm just trying to make a a a, dub, a V a V shape, and it looks like a bird's flying back there. Okay, a V shape. Very good. I like that, guys. Give that one a try. I like the colors in there. It's not a detailed painting, so 
it's just about color and we'll see you in the next painting thanks for watching